Oh. Cutting. <laughs> Two terminus. Where's my wall of omens? Yeah, you actually get to play a kind of normal sideboard too without having to worry about the, man the, the casting costs. You don't have to fill up your sideboard with Inga Chewers and Dead Gons. Alright, I'm gonna keep. I'm modeling in most hands with two terminos, but I feel like this hand's kind of okay. I don't know. Probably gonna get trolled. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I kept a hand with two terminos. Oh. Well, at least I get paired against the buy, so I have outs. Now the pressure is on. I called, uh, I called Martyr, Martyr Procubi. I need to perform. The link I posted on Twitter isn't working. Did I misclick? Oh, I might have. I probably posted the, yeah, typo the link. <clears throat> Rest in peace. Rest in peace, not too bad against them. So I actually, actually saved you from some of the scary stuff they can do. Like proclamation can be scary and um, Sometimes if they crucible in the main can be scary, and even if things go really poorly, maybe Emeria can be scary. Hey Magus. Martyr proc is a buy for the format. Yeah, somewhat. Somewhat of a buy for the format. Oh, I think it even stops Flagstone, right? Yeah, I'll just play the rest in peace now. I was gonna feel the runes, but I don't care that much. Problem is that line is they might feel the rune, especially if they're paying attention and they saw I top the card. They might want to shuffle, uh, shuffle my deck. What's my opinion on KCI? I don't know, I feel like people should maybe not register a deck that loses to KCI. But uh, it's obviously very strong and probably the best deck in the format. Thanks for the resub, buddy. 11 months in a row is the Twitch Prime sub. For some reason, it feels like even longer than that. It feels like you've been subbing forever. Thanks, bud. Have I ever streamed KCI? Nah. Too much clicking for me. I, would, I think it would hurt my brain. This might be a matchup for Coslike, honestly. <laughs> Games go so long. Let's see, what's really bad against them? Gideon of the Trial is pretty bad. It's not even that bad. Click is bad, Death Squadron Hawk. Time your reinforcement's bad. The second rest in peace is probably bad. Spell Snare, Counter Squadron Hawk. But that's it. I don't think I care that much. Can we institute a cause-like stream step for game two where you can only win with cause-like? Thank you on stroke, yeah. Some of their scary cards, like Ranger Arbios, Elspeth, Gideon, cost more than four. Hey CD Cream, they didn't have chicken nuggets at the store and I was running out of time to go to another store, so I guess uh, lunch is not on you today. Why is cause-like in the sideboard? Well, Maybe if you type the Kozlik command. <laughs> All right, I'm actually boarding out a lot of cards and not bringing in anything. Could bring in Verdict. 
I don't think Gearhulk does much because they're just gonna keep their their only f scary creature is the six thing swing really. And I think I can just bring in the angels. This matchup is honestly so hard to lose. Especially with the five planeswalker version. If I, if I only had the two Jace one Teferi, then maybe I can. No, I don't even know. Yes, I have, I have lands and spells, doesn't matter what they are. This card's actually pretty good. This card's kind of nice. I don't know if you're just not going to play a second land. But I don't think it matters, like, it's good, and they're going to get some card advantage, but then I'm just going to play a Jace, you know? <laughs> it's like, wow, well, you, you've done it. I mean, they could get Wastelands and Wastelands and Strip Mine or whatever, but if it's just, like, Field of Runes and Ghost Quarter, I like 10 basics in my deck. KCI sounds like the type of deck that is high because it performs in a meta that has no relevant hate. The problem is it's pretty hard to hate on KCI. Alright, I guess... I mean, I'm gonna get rid of it, especially if I wanna play Jason and Stern. KCI is pretty hard to hate. They get 4 Nature's Claim, which answers most hate cards. They had counter spells. They have Zai, that's really good against the hate. The reason why Blue Eyed is good against KCI is that you have you know, a main deck that's reasonable against them, and you have like 10 sideboard cards, because you get Stony Silence, which works, you get Rest in Peace, which works, you get Surgical, which works, Click is good, Dispel is good, Negate is, you know, all your, you have... So, it's like, and it so happens to be that you can play all these cards and still have a reasonable deck, you know? Yeah, I've definitely lost to... I used to lose... Now I feel like I haven't lost against KCI in, like, so long. Even, like, at the PT, I, I beat two... You know, I beat Ely and good players. So Ely and Ben Stark playing KCI. On Moda, I almost never lose anymore. It's impossible to just Ancient Grudge or Braid KCI out of the game. Well, a Braid's definitely, like, super low impact. I was... I feel like I was doing okay when I was playing Hollow One and I had, um... I had free grudges in my sideboard, I think. Between Thoughties and Grudge, you're like, you're not a huge favorite, but I think you're a favorite. I think that was actually the matchup that decided the PT, right? The Hollow One versus the. I forget his name, and against Ben Stark. Or is that the Semis? Anyways. That's actually kind of good beats. Hollow One, two punch. I do have a top on top of Path to Exile. I kind of got wrecked. I didn't think much anything bad could really happen. I was wrong. Alright, I guess I'm not gonna do anything. Because if I path they can feel over in the response and I might break, which would be bad. Hollow One has issues with Zai sideboard. Oh yeah, it's true. When I when I used to play the matchup, they didn't really have a ton of Zai yet. That's a good point. Oh, that's still their main phase. Oh. All right. As much as I want to draw some cards, I'm just gonna use Mana Lake. Could have kept the tab for the Ballista, but I feel like it's pretty conservative. And like, even if I break a bunch, I can. It's not. It's not pretty, but I can always cryptic command the the Ballista. If they just go on the pump up my Ballista attack every turn plan. Hey, Scrian. I was I was debating playing the new top eight list. I want to play with Rest in Peace main deck a bit more. I feel like it's good. I like I like the lists that made top eight too. 
I don't agree with every card choice, but I think his list is pretty solid, honestly. A surgical extraction on cryptic command is pretty brutal. It wouldn't be too bad if I didn't have one in hand, but I think I have one. Hmm, I might actually lose this game. Maybe I should keep in the second uh, second rest in peace, not that I see surgical. Blank surgical. Surgical is not the biggest deal against me, but it is, it is definitely kind of annoying. Like, if you had another surgical for Chase there, I would start feeling uh, a bit uneasy, shall we say. Alright, I'm in a pretty bad spot. If they have something like a Crucible or an Elspeth, I might actually lose this game. Even a Myria would be pretty good right now. Alright, Gideon. That kind of works. Need a Jace. Need a Jace or a Teferi. Teferi's not even that great. All too late. <laughs> yeah, I do on Gearhawk. It's a bit better against Gideon than a Sweeper. Tommy would be okay right now. Cause like. I uh, know, I'd still be sure. I'm trying to see if I should have a slightly less uh, a reactive sideboard plan. That was a huge draw. Especially with Negate back up. And Serum Vision's just. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's so much better than Ancestral Vision, but I definitely lose this game if it's an Ancestral Vision. I might still lose anyways, but I definitely lose this game if that Serum Vision is an Ancestral Vision. Hold, Lyra. I hope I'm not getting slow rolled. Probably debating whether they should attack for five or make a guy. Five five undestructible. And you prevent all damage that you dealt to him. Oh, I can't even lifelink if I wanted to. Guess I'm just gonna have six. Insurance? Oh. That works. Alright, bye bye Gideon. Alright, it looks like we've stabilized. Definitely pretty far ahead right now. Don't you wanna don't you wanna miss Vade planes of Squadron Hawk? Or am I missing something? It's like two white permanents, right? Hmm. Never you activate Herald, create a 1 1 token outlast. Huh. Do I need to path? Card's not gonna race me, right? Oh. Yes, please. Well, not that I drew to fairy. I should probably path. As long as a sorcery, right? <laughs> Stay hydrated, but. 
stay hydrated, chaps. Alright, I'll keep. Uh oh, lantern. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play. Uh... Oh, Fountain turn one. That was two colonnades in hand. I don't think they really have two mana spells, right? Alright, Lantern was a bad draw. What else could it be? Could be Doctor Foundry, I guess. Rest in peace is DC and some Lantern draws, is it? I think it's kind of bad, but I'm not sure. Should I counter that? Gives them lands. It gives them a card I'm gonna want to counter anyways. Give them the third mana. I feel like I should just negate it. That's a cool ancient staring. Uh, I'm gonna counter it. Maybe that was not very mana efficient though. Uh, should I rest in peace? Does it do anything? Probably not yet. Just gonna keep opt up, I guess, never know. Spell snare up. I'm not even really sure what we're playing against. I'm assuming it's some kind of lantern deck. I'm assuming it's just lantern, but. Spire of Industry, okay. Kadex Shredder, okay. I'm um, getting to drop a Jace is not bad. It's not GG, they have Needle, they can like wear for Needle. That's pretty good. Cryptic Commands, good one too. Yes, but turn is back on top, you never know. Probably wear for Needle if I had to guess. I could wall and path my wall was the trigger on the stack so I don't draw another path to exile. I could also just say go. They might also just smell me. What's my plan here? What's my plan with keeping cryptic command up? Are they more likely to mill themselves? Yeah, probably. Problem is... Hey, I need a second cryptic. Alright, I'll go with the Wall of Omens plan. Goom, Goome, thanks for the, thanks for the follow. I feel like I kind of want to save my cryptic command for Needle at some point, so keeping cryptic command mana up doesn't do too much for me. Alright, it's pretty lucky. Their draw's not especially good. Serum Visions versus Double Codex Shredder. Not great. Ivy Arc? Not sure if I said that right. Thanks for the Twitch Frank sub, buddy. I was laughing because now they were wondering what's going on because I went Serum Visions top top and I topped Verdict first and then Cryptic Command. This way, if they mail the Verdict and they mail again, I get to opt in response and draw the Cryptic Command. And now they just think I have two craft cards on top. Oh, but now they're going to know. Well, that sucks because now I'm... 
Hmm. I guess I could just counter it. I guess I just have to counter draw. And hope they don't mail me in response. Uh, I don't want to lose a cryptic command. Man. That sucks. I, I, the only thing I forgot is that if they mail the verdict first... I got kind of unlucky though, to be fair. And they were smart. They mailed the verdict first and it was like, what's going on? And they drew the lantern. So if I let the lantern resolve, they get CF Cryptic on top and I'll lose my... I guess, no, I could have like... They see it on top, they mail me... I crypt... Yeah, but what am I going to Cryptic? Yeah. So if I opt in response... Alright, I guess I'm just going to save my opt. I'm not saving that Cryptic command anyways. I guess I'll play rest in peace, because why not? I should have opted in response to the first shredder at the end of my turn. Oh wow, yeah. That was, uh, that was actually a pretty good play. Alright, I guess I'll opt in response. It's a pretty good draw. Question is, do I save it or do I draw two now? I think I draw two now. I just try and find a Teferi ASAP. If I can find a Teferi for their needle, I'll probably win the game. No! They just mailed a Teferi? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh man. Lantern's definitely a tough match of. Alright, now we need to get lucky. Yep. Well, literally all lands and removal spells. Not a single Revolone card. I got, I got, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say I got unlucky because it's a bad, really bad game one matchup, but. Oh, we got a Negate. Got an Island. Got a Phase Down card. Like, sideboard games I'm favored, but game one is definitely bad. Oh, another brick. Depend on your, depending on your version of blue-white, you're a slight underdog or a slight uh, favorite in the match. Like, even the Tension Sphere right now wouldn't be too bad. Does the Tension Sphere bridge or the Tension Sphere needle? Oh, this is GG. Played against Canister the other day. I did not win. I only have two Stony Silence in my sideboard. I guess Cause Like might be okay. I'm gonna bring in Purge because they usually have like Tezzeret or some some dumb stuff like that. Path is bad. Timely is bad. Wall of Omen is bad. Spell snare. I mean, they have search after sideboard, but still pretty bad. Ah, right, four turners. Jeez. I guess stroke is decent. Counters weir. I have a lot of counters for weir. Um, I guess wall stays in. They might have. Assassin's Trophy, I guess. Spell Snare can stay in. So what weird cards do they bring in? They bring in... Could bring in Brutality. Canister had to revoke her too. What's better, Path or Angel? Path or Psy, Spell Sky, then... I mean, it sounds like I might even just want straight up Sweepers, but... Maybe Angel is good against all these cards. Rip to shut down the Shredders. Maybe. It's either Rest in Peace or Kozlek. I wonder if Kozlek actually does anything. I'm gonna try Kozlek. I don't think Rest in Peace does much. How do they win if you have Kozlek? They have alternate win cons and they have a. Uh, 
takes this surgical oh, i guess they have surgical yeah i forgot about surgical i don't know if they bring in surgical against me especially after seeing rest in peace main deck i should probably have like one rest in peace and no kozilek but whatever rest in peace better than well i don't think so rest in peace is really mediocre against them if i could have a card that says one blue cycle, I would play that over Rest in Peace any day. And that, that's like almost actively good against Lantern because Cycling is actually kind of strong to get out of their lock sometimes. Would I play Peak? I mean, I would play as many Peaks as I could get against them. Not as many, but you know, Peak's pretty good card against them for sure. And I don't have lands, but I feel like I have to keep. All right, I'll just keep. So if I tap pad, they can wear for one. But they can do it anyways if I jace, so. I just have to say go, because I have double counter spell. So I can counter weird enough turn and man leak something. I don't know what they name, but I'm gonna counter that. I want none of it. Very hero of Dominaria. Oh, that Gearhulk's kind of gas. I wonder if I shuffle away, shuffle Jace away. I guess I can put it back on top. Fairy's not very good either. Let's see. Land is not very good. Jace is not very good. Fairy. I guess the Fairy might be good because when I play Gearhulk, they might have to choose and get rid of the. So I'm going to do Island and Jace. And depending on what they do, I'll, uh, I'll see if I shuffle the Jace away or not. Oh, I guess if the Assassin's Trophy, I have to shuffle my Jace away. I guess I don't have to. I, don't, I think I have the option not to search, right? Unmoored Ego. Sure. I wonder what they're gonna name. Cryptic Command. Oh yeah, makes sense. Kind of sucks to get to see my hand. So they know that they should keep their needle if I uh, cast Gear Hulk. I mean, I'm still in a really good spot. I have a Jace going and they have one card in hand. Is it time to plus two? Nah, no way. You just keep going. You just keep going. You like build up a hand of like Stony Silence, Counter Spell, and they can never come back. Yeah, this is not this is not a plus two stream. If you're hoping for the, for some plus two Jace activations, you're you're in the wrong place. Unless I get paired against Burn or something. We're not gonna see a lot of plus doing. It made me it made me sick early. I was watching Holy Diva stream and she played Jace and she went like plus two on the first turn and minus one the next turn. I mean she still easily won, but I would have definitely brainstormed both times and she uh she yeah, I was I was not happy. Alright, well they shuffled for me, so You basically just build up a hand that's unbeatable. Ah, it's a lot of good cards. Stony Silence, step one. <coughs> oh, all of you guys here. Well, Assassin's Trophy. Man. Alright, I, I guess I'll use my negate. Alright. <laughs> yeah. 
this matchup is a nightmare. Unmoored Ego? Multiple? <laughs> Thanks, Shelly. 17 months in a row. Thanks for the support. I love it. I love the messages. I love, I love it when you add a, a message to your resub. Uh, we said a rest in peace. Well, do you think they have surgical and unmoored ego? I don't think so. So it's just for academy runes and getting cards back with Codex Shredder. Kozak is really bad against them. Our paths are for, not sure, my own wall. Demo depth something where Gideon is also especially bad against them. I guess you can maybe steal games with Gideon if they don't have a bridge. Forces them to find a bridge. I was wondering if I should just have a sweeper. All right, I'll do one rest in peace. I'll do one rest in peace, one path. I could do like against Tezzeret or Maybe a sweeper if we're really worried about Zai. I don't do a verdict. They won't expect it, and maybe they have creatures. I mean, I don't know. All these cards are really bad. Honestly, rest in peace, path, Kozlek, angels. I mean, that's the problem when you put Kozlek in your sideboard instead of a card like you know it would probably be something for. Or it would probably be like another negate or a card like that. A card for. Her. The mill matchup, the control matchups. Sam's not very good, but I think I have to keep. I think it's better than a mulligan. So they have discard spells, so Stony Sun, they have discard spells and Assassin's Trophy. But this is like, I think it's under average for a seven card hand. Yeah. It's hard to mulligan the hand was. Stony silence in it, but it's honestly not that good. I guess there's no reason to opt right away. Let's keep the Zainstral Stroke up in case they have a, a weir. Unmoored Ego. Okay. I mean, they're down a card. It's not the end of the world. They're probably, what are they going to name? Jace or Cryptic Command? Or Teferi? I'm not in a terrible spot. But I'm not in a great spot either. I don't know. It's playing... I think it's playing Lantern's pretty good for them. I was going to say, is playing Lantern even good for them? I'm playing Field of Runes and Fetch Lands. Seems kind of dangerous. What does this card do? It's kind of a lobotomy. It's in between lobotomy and uh, I don't know. They print these cards all the time now. You choose any card name and you exile up to four cards with that name and exile them. <laughs> wow. My draws have been bad. So I drew two lanes and a path to exile. I guess I drew ops. So I'm not being very... Uh... My turn. I get to have a stony silence. I don't know what they have in hand. Oh, they're drawing pretty terrible. I don't really want to draw that rest in peace. But I kind of want them to draw that lantern. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just going to draw the rest in peace. Save my field of runes, pretty precious. Might as well play it, right? I 
I don't know what they have in hand. I don't know if I should start attacking with Colonnade or not. They could have Weir, right? Well, do I do it in my... Do they have a Weir in hand? Is it possible? I think it's possible. I don't know, I'm going to do it in my upkeep, I guess. And go after... Well, actually, it doesn't matter. I mean, sure, I have a stroke for the weir, but I'm drawing a bad card, and they might have another weir in hand. Ooh, Gear Hulk. It's a good one. Maybe they have Assassin's Trophy, and they're waiting till I have a good card on top to use it? Nope. Needle. Well, not much I can do anyways. I guess they need to is pretty badly. That Kirill's kind of awesome against Lantern. They got Codex Shredder. I'd have Thoughtseize. Brutal. And Shredder. Oh, that's scary. I don't have an answer to Assassin's Trophy either. But I guess I, I get to start attacking. Because, like, what could they... I mean, I guess if I attack, they can wear. Should I wait more turns? Oh, man, do they have wear in hand? Just can't figure it out. Man. It's tough to know. I think they could have wear in hand the way they, they've been playing. Man, they just have it. Look at my hand. It's so bad. I have all the wrong cards. Ugh. I think I get the extra land. I guess they only have one Codex Shredder. I thought they had three, yeah. It's not too bad for me. Bunch of lanterns. Yeah, I guess I played this game, I don't know. Maybe your last card in hand is a weird, but it doesn't seem that way. I don't know. I think I'm gonna be okay, cause... I think I'm going to be able to raise them. It's going to be pretty close. I mean, did you really pour on If I lose this game, it's kind of borderline embarrassing. Were did I, did I pronounce were weirdly? What's, what is their last card in hand? I just can't figure it out. Oh, at least now we know. And if we didn't know, now we know. I'd add Inquisition. Yeah, I'm gonna lose the game because I... I guess I could have gotten down to two if I played more aggressively. <laughs> so sad. I got kind of unlucky, honestly. I drew like probably the two worst cards in my deck after sideboard. I drew a lot of lands. I mean, I guess Lantern does that. Still feels kind of unlucky. Cause-like would be pretty good right now. Man, why do I listen to Twitch chat? Just so bad. Tilt. Path colonnade to shuffle. Oh, I mean... I don't know. Twitch chat, why are you so bad? Why do you never want me to win? Alright, I doubt I can win. I'm assuming uh, they have enough good cards in their deck to in this game, but you never know.
Can I even still win? Alright. I mean, it doesn't matter what I do. I lost. Man, I thought I was going to win, but they had... They, their hand was better than I thought it was. I was kind of unfortunate that I... If I had not filled up on my upkeep and still drew the gear hulk, then maybe I can win. I don't know. I guess they had a bunch of useless lanterns. They didn't even have that many good artifacts. How did they win was emblem in play? I don't know. I'm sure they have Assassin's Trophy in their deck. I don't know. I mean, I could have played it out just to make sure they still had an answer, because... I don't know. Maybe they already had played one Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, maybe I should have not conceded. Can I keep this hand? Nothing until turn four in modern? Probably not. The plus is I don't have a Terminus. Maybe I'll just keep. I think Terminus lets you keep these hands. Yeah, no, I agree I should have played it out. I agree. I forgot I forgot I couldn't get mailed. I literally forgot I couldn't get mailed with Gideon in play. I think it's a keep. Man, I kind of feel bad now that I that I uh, that I didn't that I conceded. Oh well. I mean, how many answers did they play? They played one trophy. Surely they have more than one trophy, right? Tez ultimate. Tez ulti doesn't kill me if I have Gideon, right? Tez ulti doesn't do anything against Gideon. Black green, it's a tough matchup. My arm's pretty good though. And their draw kind of sucks, they don't have confidence. I'm assuming it's black green and not just some weird mono green brew. Yeah, it could be. When did you sub, Magus? I don't remember you subbing. Do you just sub when I was off, off stream or just forget? Thanks anyways. Somehow I missed it. My hair's looking nice today. I went to the swimming pool. I don't think my hair should look that great, but okay. Thank you. Oh yeah, someone gifted you a sub, right? Forgot about that, cool. Look at that feel of Urns fixing their mana. Pretty swamp. I love these swamps. They're not cheap either. They're like you know, 50 cent a basic or a tick or something. Pretty expensive. Why did I fetch Fountain? We just lost to Lantern. Canister. I thought I was going to win too. I got beaten pretty badly game one, then I beat him pretty badly game two, and game three his draw looked kind of bad, but then he drew a lot of good cards in a row. Why would I not fetch Hallowed Fountain? Oh right, I give him a shot at fixing his mana. I didn't even think about that. My reasoning was like, well, if he uses Field of Rune on the Hallowed Fountain, I'm kind of happy about it, because that means one less Field of Rune for Colonnade, but I... I forgot they could just like actually just fix their mana. Hmm. Lantern's terrible deck. Well, it's pretty decent against blue white right now. They're like kind of skimping on the stony salad, skimping on. Plus, I'm playing a rest in peace instead of snapcast for mage. Because like game one, I think I had the rest in peace in hand, and if it had been a snapcast for mage, I think I might have won. Thanks for the follows, by the way. I'm not catching all of them, but uh, I hear they're all to get in, to get in, to get in. At least we probably don't have to worry about uh, <coughs> Blood Raid Elf, given the, the feel of Rune. The artist. Wang. Is that, is that, is that you, Wang? Is that a coincidence? 
Are you a, are you an artist for for Magic Wong? Wong Chuk Song. <laughs> I didn't know I had a superstar in my chat. Hey, <laughs> miniature catfish. Thanks for the resub, buddy. Appreciate it. I already knew you drew Hornswoggle. I, I saw the conversation about Hornswoggle the other day, but I didn't realize, uh, I, didn't, I didn't exactly realize what was going on, I guess. I didn't see how it all started, but yeah. Awesome. They look really sweet. <laughs> Let's see if the art of Hornswoggle is any good. Pretty decent. Wait, that's not you. Oh, there's probably different, different versions. Wait, no, what? No, I'm just confused. No, no, I feel like I'm getting made fun of. I got horn swaggle. <laughs> if you Google horn swaggle, the first result is a midget wrestler. I'm just getting right by chat. Yeah, telling me to sideboard the wrong cards. Oh yeah, Hornswoggle. Professional the worst wrestler, that's awesome. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um Alright, sure. Probably shouldn't let that resolve. They're gonna make me sequence things really awkwardly. Alright, bye bye Jace. Let's see how many Jace activations uh, our opponent can uh, can take. Sometimes your hand's just too good and you don't know what to do. I don't have cryptic command out. Cryptic command man out, but I don't think it matters. Have I seen Theater of Horrors? Nope. One star on IMDB. Jeez. Doesn't look like I missed much. Oh, it's not a movie? Oh, it's the discard spell, right? Is it the discard spell? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Oh, red, black, and one. At the end of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. During your turn, if no one lost life this turn, you may play exile. Okay, four deals one in. Sure. Hmm. So it's kind of like. It's like a mix of like a tome and a little splash damage and is it better than Frenzy? Oh, it's different. I don't know if it's better. Alright, I think I have a Terminus on top. I don't know, I mean I could just draw it and cast it on my turn, but Sure, I'm losing a card, technically, but more mana efficient. I have a chase anyways. It's not like I'm ever losing this game. A million years? Should I show them rest in peace? They already so on. It's gonna be like, who's that maniac? All his rest in peace. Can play cards exile on previous turn. No, I know, I realized. I understand. Uh, 
I, mean, I don't even know what to keep, what not to keep, like... Play scoop, open it. Seems not very interesting. Ask you to scoop. Well, I guess technically their last card in hand is a Maelstrom Pulse. They're not in terrible shape. Sure, they have no cards and have two Cryptic Commands, a Sweeper, and a Negate, but... They're in much better shape than they were like 30 seconds ago. Or, you know, their last card in hand could be a Goyf. Is this the time the stream becomes a plus two stream? No, never. I'll not, uh... Oh! Forgot about treetop. Oh. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's looking grim. I wonder what tipped it. What was what was the turning point? What what made the difference? They're like, all right, when he gets to seven cards in hand, I'll scoop. Um, I think by now I would know how to sideboard in this matchup, but I don't. All right, all these cards are somewhat reasonable. Even Stony Silence is reasonable. We didn't see Tracker though. I don't know if they play Tracker nowadays. Bad. I don't like Click. Hope so. UMA next weekend. You ready? Uh, you ready, Devil Fried? Two rest in pieces a lot. I'll just do one. There's a matchup where you can probably board out a land on the draw. But I guess they have Fulminator Mage. I don't love my chances, especially after Cyber. I mean, this is a bad matchup. For a while, I felt like that was my worst matchup. And Double Fright, 16 months. Thanks for the reset, buddy. And, uh, yeah. Hope hope you're ready. Hope, uh, hope Fry goes well. Not as prepared as I'd like to be. Gonna jam as much as I can this week. Yeah, I mean, you're never prepared. You, nev you almost never feel you're, like you're as, you know, as prepared as you would like to be before a Magic Tournament. Speaking of, I've been having that recurring kind of nightmare lately where, I mean, it's a classic. It's as old as as, as Magic tournaments, but where I, uh, I just don't have my deck list submitted. I don't have any of the cards. I don't even decided which archetype I'm going to play. But the good thing is, it's a legacy tournament. So I know that it's not real because I know they don't have legacy PTs. So I'm not like too worried. It's kind of weird. You guys ever have these dreams but you feel like you know they're not true because that couldn't be possible in real life? If it was like standard or modern, I'd probably freak out and wake up like sweating and stuff but it's legacy I'm like I have dreams I didn't write a college essay and see it tomorrow oh yeah I mean same thing all right the good thing is about my draw is that it's fairly proof to fulminator mage 
So I've got that going for me, but that's about it. I have a 200 word essay to write? What? Isn't 200 words like five sentences or something? Do you mean 2000 words? Oh look canister, they're returning the favor. They're re returning the favor and they fetched for uh, fetch for an overgrown tomb. How nice of them. I wonder if I should do it now or just wait a bit. Probably just do it now. I guess I can do it in their combat step. I guess if they inquisition me, I'm gonna to want to do it now and I'm gonna to have to feel over and I'm gonna give them an extra mana. So that could technically be bad. Yeah, I don't know. I think I just do it now. They know most of my hand. It's not like I can rep too, too much. <laughs> oh, I got debated. It's a meme. Wow, the memes are just really bad these days. What's up with 2019 and terrible memes? Another one. Feels good. Didn't just take four damage for no reason. Oh, I thought that was a picture to the meme. Domri finally! Finally giving the people what they want. The Domri Planeswalkers. Let's see if it's a bit better than the previous ones. Four. Start at six? Goes up to six? Add red or green if that mana is spent on creature spelled against riot. So it does nothing to turn it comes into play. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal up to two creature cards from them. All right, that's pretty strong. Top four up to two makes you play it's like the other Domray. They keep making these Domrays where you can't even build your deck in a realistic way. Or like literally Domray has to be your only only non-creature spell for it to be good. It looks just as bad as the old one. I don't know, maybe you just play it plus it and next turn you plus it, cast a Carnage Tyrant and that's how you play the card. Free mana Domri was pretty good. I don't think free mana Domri was ever in a tier one deck, but I could be wrong. Well, I guess I'll just negate because, yeah, obvious. I agree I don't mind them having Planeswalkers that are not OP. That is 100% true. All right, looks like we dodged the storm somehow. They didn't have Dark Confident, they didn't have Liliana, they didn't have Tracker. So yeah, their draw was just not very good. This is not a good matchup. I mean, I guess it depends on their version, but... Assuming they have like four Confidence and like between... I don't know, two and four Trackers after Sideboard. That was a nightmare. Remember at some point people were playing four Confidence and four Tracker? And that was even before Teferi. I think it was even, maybe even before Jace the Mind Sculpture. And I was playing Blue-White already at the time, and oh, I match up with stuff. They had Pulse and Decay, you can never stick anything in it, or just always stick a Confident or a Tracker. That was a, someone who made top eight was a Domri deck. World Championship. Brian Kibler, four Domri Rod. I mean, it doesn't mean his deck was good. I mean, that's the 24-player world championship. Who knows how he actually did in, in standard. I don't know if that's a tier one deck. Chase the Mind Sculpture. Yeah, maybe, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty sick that even at Worlds, Killer was just jamming just the four Thunderbolt helm. <laughs> that looks amazing. Kibler is... Maniac, ooh, giving me land number six for Terminus. Kind of interesting here. I could Teferi plus, and then next turn Terminus. I could Terminus now. I could Teferi minus. I kind of like Teferi minus, I think.
Grey Ogre feels bad, man. <laughs> Who would win? A Grey Ogre or one of the ten best cards ever printed in the history of Magic? Oh no, I get to untap plans, okay. I was gonna say that whole sequencing's kind of awkward because now I'm gonna lose my field of runes for free. But no. Jace not amongst the top 10 cards. Not You don't think Jason Mind Sculpture is top 20 cards ever printed? It's played in Legacy. Staple in Modern, played in Legacy, probably played in Vintage. Just dominated every format it was legal in. Sure. Kind of a wasted miracle here, but I'll take it. The value on tapping the colonnade. What do you think about the fact that there's only one non-limited GP for at least the next half year in Europe? I personally couldn't care less, and I haven't thought about it, about like the implications and why they're doing it, etc. So I have no, uh, you know, no opinion right now. So I don't want to just, I don't know, spew some nonsense, I guess. I guess I could think about it and give you an answer. But that's a lot of work. I, I mean, I was already not going to many GPs at all. And the fact that they don't give like pro points anymore kind of, I don't know, feels like, I don't know. Maybe they just don't care about the like professional aspect of the GPs. You know, it's mostly for like casual players, I guess now, and that's probably fine. You know, I, I don't know. I'm I don't know what Wizards plans are. Hopefully, they're good. Do I think Brainstorm is stronger or weaker than Jace? Uh, I think Brainstorm's probably a better card than Jace. Looks like all the money is going to esports. There's only one GP covered before the MC. Yeah, I mean, if this is GG's, buddy. Uh, if they decided, uh, you know. I don't know. It's, it's complicated. Hopefully they know what they're doing. Um, and if it's not great the first year, we'll fix it, you know. They'll get feedback and they can fix it, hopefully. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Kaya's Wrath, white, white, black, black. These are all creatures, you gain a life equal to the number of creatures you control that were... Oh, you gain life equal to the number of creatures you control that were destroyed this way, wow. Taysa convened the meeting of the Obsidat. Kaya ended it, jeez. Kaya's pissed. Oh, that's for me. <coughs> Red Prison. <coughs> Easiest deck to play, nice. Reanimator is easy? Feels like Reanimator would be kind of hard because of the hate and stuff playing around hate. Dredge is hard to play? 
Storm, I picked up the deck that was the most difficult to play in the format. I don't know, Storm didn't feel that difficult to play yesterday, but I only played a few games against Minguchi. I mean, it felt difficult, but... I guess you have Brainstorm, Preordain, and Ponder. So that part is kind of tough. I saw you were playing Red Prison Canister yesterday. You lost in the semis, right? That's kind of a close call. Oh, hmm. Not an Inquisition deck. I wonder if they're going to take up or Detention Sphere. <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> it's, it's kind of tough. Wasn't exactly sure what to do with my opt. Pretty questionable to not try and dig for a negate or a leak or that kind of stuff. What are playing uh, Mardu? People still play that deck. I haven't played against Mardu in a while. Ever since I started playing Modern again. I'm gonna get Blood Moon. I forgot about Blood Moon. Wow, that'd be pretty bad if I got Blood Moon. Looks like I'm getting Blood Moon. I'm bad. Let's see if I'm lucky. If only this could have been avoided. If only there was anything I could have done about that Blood Moon. But you know, sometimes, sometimes there's just nothing you can do. Sometimes you just get unlucky. I even said Mardu on turn two and then I just, that's what happens. The, the rust, oh man. Obviously, I plus instead of brainstorming, and I get completely wrecked. And they had planes on top, anyways. And they have Dreadbore, of course. I just. Why do I ever plus? It's just always a mistake. Doesn't matter how you twist it. Wow, I got wrecked. Wow. To be fair, there's nothing I could have done this game. I played it perfectly, and they just had everything. Just unlucky, honestly. I'm not a pigeon. I don't know what you're talking about. Plus was right. Yeah, I feel like they have Dreadbore 100% of the time I plus. So I'm starting to doubt plus is right in this spot, but... Either that or double bolts, I don't know. Is it right? Well, I guess I'll cast it now, because can't cast it anyway, so. All right, I should probably keep one man in hand for call against command, etc. They're getting to Reveler mana. Ooh, I have mana leak for Reveler now, nice. You don't even know if they run Dreadbore at all? That's not true. They always have Dreadbore now. It's like super stock, one or two Dreadbore main. Only Bobo. Thanks for the follow. <clears throat> I don't know, my play is fun. My plus, my plus two was fine, because like... Brainstorm's not as valuable when you can't shuffle away the cards. It's not as busted as an effect as, as it usually is. Alright, we need <coughs> Basic Island. We need Teferi. We need Jace. 
Not bad. I could plus, I could plus and path a token. Or I can just brainstorm. I think plus on me is kind of good again. But then it forces me to path a token. Hmm, I'll just brainstorm. Well, I can't play Cryptic Command anyways right now. Well, I can actually play Teferi. I didn't realize I could just play Teferi right away. Assuming playing Tef Teferi now is good, right? I could save it for Blood Moon next turn. As I just Teferi plus, I'll have Mana Leak plus Path. I just Path a token. So deck people don't really play anymore, but it's another great deck to have Rest in Peace against. Rest in Peace is just so absurd against them. Especially game one when they don't have an answer to it. I don't know if there's too much I could have done about that. Alright, I think... Well, if he sends two tokens at Jace, I should definitely path one, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I path one. They're probably out of basics, too. Call me Vanish and they have more than five basics. Hopefully they don't have another call against command. They obviously don't have a bolt, or else they just bolt chase before attacking. They could have call against command though. Play the same way. Yeah. I missed, I, I think I messed up the, maybe the order of the top cards of my deck here. Should have had that flooded strand on top and not the cryptic command. Feels bad. Malik's definitely going to be good <coughs> in a couple turns when they start casting Revelers. Why path here? Because if I don't path, Jace goes down to one, and then next turn my Jace dies. I don't know, I just want to kill that creature so I can keep brainstorming with Jace. Pretty straightforward, really. If I don't pay off, my Jace goes down to 1, and they still have 2 one, one Flyers. I guess Reveler is kind of awkward if they have a bunch of Revelers. Probably just let the first one resolve, actually. I guess they're not really in a hurry to cast Reveler. How many Cold Against Command are they playing, by the way? 2? Oh, I thought that was 3 already. Okay, 2. 2, is, two makes sense. Mesmerizing, I read Mesmerizing Behind, no, Mesmerizing Benthid, 4545, oh it's a mythic, when it enters a battlefield, create two O2 creature tokens, illusion with whenever this creature blocks a creature, that creature doesn't untap during its net controller step, has hexproof as long as you control an illusion. Okay, interesting. Another hexproof creature. Yeah, I mean... How many terminators do I have left? Free and a Verdict. Verdict got Comcast, though. Okay, I guess I should have tapped... I guess I can tap the token now that you're another path. Nahiri, that's a good one. I honestly don't know who's going to win this game. <laughs> they already got rid of two Teferi and two Jace. I have one Jace left to win the game. I think I'll let the first one resolve because they probably have two more in their hand, right? One or two more in their hand. Alright, I'm going to let the first one resolve. Let's see how many they had. They had a push and another reveler, so I think that was good that I didn't waste a cryptic command. I'm gonna tab that now. I guess I could see a federal terminus. 
I have a detention field left in my deck too that probably wins the game for me. Lingering Souls. I think I have to counter that as well. Alright, Planes number 2 is nice. Should I show them? Probably shouldn't show them my second Planes. You guys are gonna burn me out. At least I drew all three cryptic commands. That was pretty lucky. That's a good draw. I think I'm going to plus first. In case they have Bolt in hand and only Bolt as their burn spell. Obviously it's going to suck if they go Bolt, Fork, Bolt or something. I'm going to wish I had made an emblem, but I think in the long run it's better play to just do that first. Can I start attack? Does Gideon die to terminate? 4-4, four, four, indestructible. Okay. Unless there's something I forgot about, some kind of edict or exile, but I don't think they play these cards, they have push. Let's see, the turn I draw the tension sphere. 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, so I have enough mana to like detention sphere and attack with both my colonnades. But I draw. I only have one though. Oh no, they discarded it right away, right? I'm crazy. Yeah, it's the graveyard. Okay. So I guess I better not lose that Gideon. Drain 2. How many bolts left in their deck? One, two, three, no more bolts, so that's good. I'm currently getting decked though. Not exactly sure, what do I even have left to win? I have one chase. Whatever. Yeah, Gideon kind of did his job and I only attacked one so he would have died anyways. I think I have one chase to win the game. Where's the list? I'd have Helix too. Ooh, I have one click and one negate. Nice. Should I click me or click them? I guess I'll click them in case they, have a, they drew a creature. Fatal Push and Reveler. Well, they can't really trigger their Fatal Push, not easily. Reveler is scary though. Well, I guess I have Negate for Push anyways. Drew another Reveler? Wow, Scrybug. Judge. I mean, I guess anything is possible. It's possible to just happen to draw our last reveler. <laughs> I mean, there was a like 6% chance or whatever to do their last reveler. I don't think me drawing a path to exile count as getting lucky when they just drew like Reveler up the top with like no relevant cards in hand. 
Not exactly the same. They played their four bolts. They played the brutality. How many Thoughtseize did they play? One, two, three. They have one Thoughtseize left. We know Reveler is the bottom card of their deck. They have how many Young Pyros did they play? They didn't just play one Young Pyro. Really? Just one? That's all attack, force the trade. I'm gonna block anyways. Uh, I'm gonna assume they don't play more than one Brutality or more than one Fork Bolt and just take another damage. Hope I don't get thought seized. Oh yeah, Pav giving them a shuffle, that's true. Uh, that play's pretty sketchy. It's probably pushing pushing the boundaries a bit, uh, stretching the boundaries. Well, now they're probably not gonna uh, add a guy to the boards. If I go down to one and they have a token. Thanks for the follows. Call yes. Thanks, bud. Ooh. Wow. Yellow hat, wow. Forgot about that card. <laughs> wow. That was gas. Tiny reinforcement indeed. Might not be enough, but it might. I'm still getting decked. I'm not too sure what, what the play here is, but uh, uh No more Gideon, no ways to get rid of Blood Moon. I, I need to find my deck list. Liz, not now. I'm in a hurry, that's not it. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why I can't find my list. Anyways. Alright. Uh, I'll start by doing that and just say go. Yeah, I know I need to hurry. I know, I know, I know. Well, that was pretty bad. Oh, well, I guess it's not so bad. So now I can plus, which like buys me two draw steps. How do I win? I don't know, I guess I'll cast Serum Visions. Wall? I'm not even sure I can still win this game. Sucks too, because oh, they're attacking me? What the hell? So let's see, if I Terminus now, plus five, three, seven, two, nine, one, eleven. I'm one turn short. All right, I I think I'm one turn short. Maybe if I don't cast the same visions, I win. Concede and save time. I think maybe I can make up some time right now. Man, I was actually like one turn short too. Not really, I mean, they might have drawn anything that interacts, but I can, I could Jace myself. If I Jace myself, I just deck him. But he probably has like a burn spell or a creature or literally anything. 
I don't think Bouncing Pyro was a realistic way to win the game. Yeah, I was like one card short. That sucks. I don't play Serum Vi I, I should have not played that Serum Vision. But also, they made a bad attack. They attacked me instead of attacking Jace at one point. That was not great. Alright. Uh, that was kind of as close as it gets. That game was crazy. Yeah, if I played maybe different, maybe I have a shot. I don't know. I think the creatures are good against them. Let's see. Time is usually decent. Purge is good. Stainful Stroke is okay. Don't like Click. Don't like Gideon. I actually don't like Path. I usually just board out all the Path against them. Um. All right, what's bad? I guess I need all the creatures because I'm <coughs> pretty low on time. Me just board out some sweepers. I think Bouncing Pyromancer, I mean, I knew I had like nothing left in my deck, it was not realistic, but obviously the way I played gave me no, no out, so it was, you know, I should have thought about it. This game would have, I would have just won this game probably if I hadn't uh, fetched the wrong lands in the first few turns. It just made the whole game like so much harder. Maybe I should opt for lands here. Smash up is tough. Even with Rest in Peace main deck, I'm not sure I'm a favorite in the matchup. It always goes the same way, but it's just the way the deck works. You feel like the games are closed, but you eventually lose. Pithic Needle. Field of Rune or Teferi? Or Jace, I guess. I don't know if that card is good, honestly, if they have Blood Moon in hand, I just lose if I keep that. I mean, it's better than nothing, kind of. Oh, that's tough. I don't know. Man. I just do not know. If not that blood when I get to feel the runes. Alright, I'm not in a bad, bad spot. I'm not in a great spot, but... Could be worse for sure. They're really gonna name... I mean, honestly, if they name feel of runes, I'm not even dead unhappy. If I use it, I give them extra mana this turn, which kind of sucks. I'll let the name I'll let them name Field of Runes if they want to. They're probably gonna name Jace. I don't know. You know. I feel like I need every every small edge I can get right now. Just bottom verdict, I feel like with Tiny in hand, I don't, I don't know, I just feel like it's just underwhelming, it's not winning game plan. I mean, obviously, looks like it worked out for me, even if they have a removal, it's not the end of the world, but just keeping a verdict on top feels super underwhelming. Thanks for the follow. Person was an Asian name. That sphere would be right, nice right now, yeah. Oh, bye bye timely. If I draw a land though, I'm in pretty good shape. Just calling it an angel beatdowns. 
Doing good on time too. But they didn't take timely, they took spell snare. I guess their reasoning is probably that uh should I actually play my timely here or just to get the guys? I'm never gonna gain life off it. Yeah, I guess it's not getting much better than that, right? Alright, I think I'm in a pretty good spot. They need removal for me. Also, it protects me against Liliana. They have Liliana sometimes. They need removal for Bane Slayer. They need removal for Colonnade. I have a rest in peace in play. Alright, there's a removal for Colonnade. <laughs> Ooh, in the gates. Oh, that's pretty sick. All right, looks like this one's uh, this one's pretty much in the bag. Do I need to get absurdly lucky? Molten rain colonnade. Sure. Yeah, they took spell snare because they have dreadborn maybe terminate. So they figured they, their out is killing the angel, and they need to get rid of the spell snare. I think our Ovenin had the wrong approach this game. I don't know. I mean, they just got caught by surprise by the angel, and they didn't have an answer for it. I mean, Needle is really good against me. Blood Moon's really good against me. All right, I think the way I sideboard is pretty reasonable. No reason to change. I just don't like having path against them. I feel like if you have to path a young pyromancer in the early turns, it's just such a bad deal for you. Also, I'm bringing in timely, which kind of... I mean, they can make more than three tokens, obviously, with young pyro, but it it's kind of... I'd rather have timely than path against them, basically. Alright, this hand's not great, but gotta keep. Can't go too crazy on the mulligans. It's not great against Blood Moon, is the problem. Don't have a counter spell, don't have a fetch for white mana. Hmm, that's pretty lucky. I guess no reason to show them. I think I kinda wanna play Field of Runes. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, maybe I should have played Field of Runes because of Molten Rain. Yeah, I think I messed up. Save my bait, protect my basics. <clears throat> the Brutality. Take Timely. Oh, they're stuck on two lands. I like that. I should probably do it now. Limits them on mana. I have no spells. I want to get Island anyways, I think. I don't think I ever want to get planes here. Makes them pick between white and red in case they have a lingering souls in hand, something like that. They have one less land in their deck, it's not much, but it still means they're slightly less likely to... Uh... Alright, I don't think I have Verdict here, I think I just say go with Cryptic Command up. And like, either... I don't know actually, what do I do with my Cryptic Command? I could Bounce Mountain, well... I just say go. Hmm. Just Bounce Young Pyro, seems so weird to do that. But I think it's right. And probably play or just jam Lyra first. It's kind of bad if they have Liliana. I think I like the fairy first. Plus I could get lucky and draw a counter spell. Plus there's a small chance they have terminate and they actually get to to like end of turn kill my Lyra with terminate on tap play something and I, I get wrecked whereas here it's only Dreadbore. Molten Rain, oh, that's great for me. Alright, I think this game's over. 
looks pretty good anyways. Maybe not over. Could I have an answer for for Lyra? Man. Um yeah, I'll I'll just gem Lyra and make them have the Liliana. Or else they just lose. On tab blue in case I opt into spell snare for the dread boar. Inquisition. Okay. Oh no, they don't have dread boar mana. Oh they don't even have Liliana mana right now. These mountain rains are kind of bad. Yeah, they're kind of looking bad this game, but I don't think they're bad overall. I mean they're probably better than fatal pushes and lightning bolts. They're just bad because they didn't they miss their third land drop. It's kind of dumb to say that. Um, I'll bottom. I'll draw some lands. I'm not too worried. Um. I guess I'll play another rest in peace, why not? Alright, I mean I drew like three bricks in a row, so game's not looking as great as it was looking like two seconds ago. It was looking really really good and now it's just looking like I'm decent favorite instead of like overwhelming me. Yeah, this is game three. Game two, we got a pretty good draw, too, and just won pretty fast. I mean, they have five cards in hand. This is getting scarier and scarier. Kambal. That does nothing. Stone Break. Not really Stone Break, I guess. Tax Might Fairy. I wouldn't hate drawing something relevant at any point. It would be nice. I think I still have a few good cards in my deck. I guess I don't need anything right now. I just need my angel not to die. Are they attacking me? Not the fairy? I'd have need all. Can I draw a dread boar? No, these cards don't do much. <laughs> just Lyra for the win. They did second rest in peace after sideboard because they played that disenchant to like split guard. So, Lyra all the way or? Yup. Baneslayer one game, Lyra the next one. They both did the job. Can always count on, on the woman to get the job done. Way more reliable. Seems like it's, things should get worse for me after a sideboard too, not better, but I don't know. Indeed. Me, Jayscar. Thanks for the resub, buddy. Three months in a row. What is the tier one sub? Appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't think about Mono Blue. I was like, oh, it's the Simic card, counters, etc. But you already play Essence Scatter and All Islands in Mono Blue. It actually seems... Like, how many Essence Scatter does Mono Blue Tempo play? Like, two or three these days? I didn't think about that when I saw the card, but yeah. I see the card looks pretty sick in the IS blue white control, the hands you have to keep. Yeah, just a Ness and Scatter was upside. It's pretty sick. Module. I haven't played this matchup in a while. 
It's pretty popular. It's one of the most winning winningest deck, right? One of the winningest deck. That one in was there one in, I think there was one in the top eight of the last GP, right? This weekend. It was like one blue white control. One blue white control. One Phoenix deck. One module deck, one scape shift titan deck, and four KCI decks, I think. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. Is that good? Hell. Hell if I know. One one for free, add two mana, burn bright. Savage Smash, bunch of commons. That's the Wrath of God. White Black. All right, no clue in how big of a hole I am here when they have module. Whenever one or more plus one counters I'll put on a permanent control, you may pay one. If you do create a one one, yeah, I mean, I'm assuming I'm in big trouble. But we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to dismantle uh, their frets one by one. Maybe I should have mulligan that hand. I mean, it's not that it didn't turn out that bad, but I, I didn't realize I like only two spells and one of them was a terminus. That is not the greatest. Uh, the greatest keep ever. I think that was much worse than the double chase to fairy hand I kept earlier. Tap, choose a counter on tap. Hmm. So if I tap out, you're gonna add a counter, deal a lot of damage. Maybe I should opt and path. All right, I'm gonna save my ops. I'm gonna try and maximize my odds of hitting terminus. I think I'm gonna need all the health I can get. I think I have to have that now or else just way too much damage. I need a rest in peace actually. Do I? No, maybe not. I was thinking like Ravager is gonna be a pain. No, never mind. What do I need? Plane Planeswalker probably? Because I have to keep up with the degen things they're doing. Um guess I'll let it resolve. Alright. You know what? It's Terminus. Terminus. I only have two Terminus left in my deck. Terminus. Terminus. Here is my Terminus. This is getting kind of ridiculous, honestly. You think people are think people are gonna be weirded out when I just started start singing the song IRL next time I play Blue White? They're gonna be like, what the hell is going on? Why is he singing? It's the full terminus that could have been Wall of Omens, that's true. Alright. Sold. Yeah, this terminus song does does work, uh a fairly freakish amount of the time. I'm not gonna lie. Sacrifice an artifact proliferate. Is that good? Does that do anything right now? Whatever one doesn't. I mean, kind of does nothing, right? For now. All right. I'll. I guess I'll let it resolve. I feel like there's better things to counter, but I don't know. Probably not. The model is a real problem. It's not a good sack hanger back. Oh, uh, looks like I messed up. I got greedy. I don't know what I was saving that negate for, honestly. The thing is, I don't have that many artifacts to sack. Uh, uh, 
Is there a point in waiting? Not really, right? Yeah. Should I just path it now before they get the token and the kid's second modeler? Probably. Kind of have to kill everything right now. Just hope I run them out of cards. It's not good for me. They, ch they willingly chose not to make a token. Alright, we need the last terminus. Am I just dead? Oh, I'm just dead, right. I guess I'll let them do it. Yeah, not negating was... bad. <clears throat> No, I know I'm dead. I don't know, maybe they'll misclick. It'll be pretty hard. Yeah, the module was, I think the module was kind of the problem in this game. I don't know, it was kind of all of it. How many stone you have? Only two. I think this matchup's blue-white favored, but not by much. I think the modern green version, people added starting like, I remember people started adding like Dark Confidence and some weird stuff. I think it should be favorable though. Click seems awful, Gideon seems bad, Timely is probably pretty bad. The only ra one rest in peace for Ravager. I guess Hanger back too, once I have Verdict, more Verdicts. The gates and Leak are okay, I think. Tension Sphere is like my best card. Huh, what do I cut? I actually have kind of like all the cards here. Take out Omens. No, I don't want to rest in peace in this matchup, do I? I mean, it kind of stops Ravager and kind of stops Hanger back. Do you have Nature's Claim? Yeah. Should I go next level and not have any enchantments? I wouldn't hate it. Just... Freaking... I guess Gearhulk is also an artifact. Salvato avoids in the rest in pieces. Okay, interesting. Death Scared of Hangerback? What do I board out? I could just board out the counter spells. The counter spells are just slow and clunky. I agree to rest in peace seems bad. All right, if Canister says to rest in peace seems bad, I'm gonna listen to Canister. Are the angels any good? Maybe that's the thing. Maybe the, the angels are the card I shouldn't have in my deck. Maybe Canister is just trolling me. Angels, angels, angels. Yeah, angels are great, angels are fine. Should I just board out all the counter spells? So I don't have to play a reactive game. I have so few enchantments, I wonder if I should just not bring them in in this matchup. They're gonna have four dead natures claiming their deck, that's pretty huge. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it game two, maybe I'll try it for the third game. Gearhulk is kind of bad. Uh, only kind of though. I have a feeling Gearhawk is serviceable, especially if you have Rest in Peace. Never lucky. The full Terminus could have been a, an awesome Wall of Omens. Look, this could be a negate, a cryptic command. Instead, it's just going to get nature's claimed. Yeah. I think I'm just not going to bring in the enchantments for the third game. I'm not even joking.
That's all right. Cast my verdict first. Do I think anything will be banned? I'm not sure. I didn't think cards would be banned the last few times. This time was four KCI decks in the top eight. I don't know. They might finally do something. Like KCI is, I don't want to say clearly the best deck, but it seems like more and more people are picking it up. Like it didn't do that well before just because there wasn't that many people willing to play the deck. Now you just have more and more people, but like that Phoenix deck is, that Phoenix deck's pretty ridiculous. It won the GP and it won the PTQ, and I've I've been impressed by it. I don't know. I've been impressed by it when I played against it on Moto. So what do you do? You just ban everything? I guess next turn I can brainstorm Terminus to the top and instant speed wrath of God. Five ten minutes when people go off. It's not that much. It's bad for coverage, but they're not covering GPs anymore, so we'll see. Should have hit Terminus second in case they kill Jace. That's fair. I think there's a, a world where I uh where I want to cast Terminus, though. Wait, what? How did they get free counters on... Oh, right. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. I'm still okay. Hey bandana, glad you noticed. Thanks for the resub, buddy. Eight months in a row is a Twitch Prime sub. And peeps, if you have Amazon Prime, don't forget to use that uh, free Twitch Prime sub every month. Don't let it go to waste. Are they really not covering GPs anymore? I don't know. I mean, not that many GPs, anyways. How good is that? Seems. So, I mean, I could just play it now and start attacking. Four or five Vigilance for five. I've played the worst cards. Actually, probably not. I don't think I've ever played a worst card in Constructed. They mulligan to five this game. Doesn't feel like they should have any business still being in it, but they are. They could even win. Hardened scales, couple nexus. I will say I do feel pretty safe with rest in peace in play. It hasn't done anything yet, but uh Oh. I messed up. Awkward. Should have attacked right, add the mana to attack and have Field of Runes up. Ravager and I'm dead. No. Got trust in peace. Oh, I did it again. I usually have my beginning of combat step too. I got rid of it recently. Makes me misclick sometimes. Wait, what? Oh yeah. Alright, good beats. And I'm really trying to lose this game, am I not? Um, let's see. I'm really doing my best to lose this game. And the one life is going to make the difference.
pretty good draw. I'm not sure he should proliferate, because he doesn't get a land. I'm obviously going to use my Field of Rune. Feels like he could wait. He could wait, because I'm, I'm going to use my Field of Runes anyway, so he gets like an extra land. I mean, doesn't really need an extra land, I guess, but... Uh, uh, that's not a pretty good one. All right, rest in peace, doing work. Still think I would have been a bit better off without rest in peace, Stony and the Gear Hulk, and just counter spells instead. But it's it's close. Maybe I won't board out the enchantments. Maybe I was just joking. Maybe I'll bring in the second rest in peace. Seems like even just a second activation is... Just just countering one hanger back to activation kind of makes it worth it. Alright, enchantments were pretty good this game, not gonna lie. That was them mulliganing to 5 and me having a good draw. And it was still close. Oh, still is close actually, it's not completely over. All right, I'm gonna do minus gear hulk plus rest in peace. I don't know if I want all the rest in peace. Kind of on this spell, just to protect exactly stony silence. I think all my other cards are better. I have one card, I get to bring in one card. What's better, dispel or mana leak? Why is Rest in Peace good against them? It stops the, the Modular of Ravager, it stops Hangerback Walker, and Hardborn Walker, all these cards. Yeah, Leak is okay against their Ballistas and stuff, I agree. Protecting of Stony Silence is honestly just so huge. It's kind of hard to have one mana up all the time though. Don't know. Let's see, Dispel, Rest in Peace, Purge. Are we sure the Gear Hulk was pretty mediocre this game? I feel like Gear Hulk plus Rest in Peace is kind of decent. Also, they could have like multiple enchantments and mocks and stuff. Maybe I'll just keep the Gear Hulk. Give him a little love. Don't we cut Elimination? I don't think you cut ever cut Elimination in a matchup where you want to hit as many turns as possible. I might be 5 heavy. Actually, Teferi might be bad against them. I should just cut it to Teferi is what I should do. We have like a mana leak. Oh, kind of a weird hand. I think it's kind of good though. I'm gonna keep. They mulligan, so their draw's not as likely to be busted. I think it's okay. Gear Hulk has them keep an artifact, an enchantment, and a creature. Is it good? Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Because I'm a fish. Yeah, I guess not. I was thinking I'd get like Mox, Citadels, you know, little... It wasn't, I wasn't thinking it was going to be great, but I thought it would be like kind of nice value. But maybe I'm just wrong. Oh, you can't get Citadel? It's Destroy? 
And I was destroy. What did they get? Animation module. Annoying. Should just do everything on my turn, right? This way they don't get more counters. Choose a counter. Like they could have the land that sacks a creature, I guess. I think they could have a couple of cards that own me. Don't think you need to keep a risky hand in this matchup, really. I don't think the matchup's that good. I'm not saying my hand was a good keep. I think it was pretty close, but you make it sound like this is a good matchup for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I just die to. I just die to the one card, right? But they don't have it, or else they would have played it last turn. Alright, so I don't think I'm gonna play Scared, and there's a play Stony, and I guess they need to have Nature's Claim and the Enchantment. Never mind, yeah. Your name Servos? No, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, this hand was not great. They mulligan though, so they were less likely to have a super explosive draw. But I agree, I had Terminus in an opening hand. I, I think I, I think I should have mulligan too. Uh, that was not the greatest keep, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. I think I just play wall. I don't think I'm any danger. Huh. <laughs> Unfortunate. I'm just gonna path my own wall. Make sure I don't break. Kind of sucks to have to do that. Choose them. The French choose them. I guess the Mulder deck has a lot of variance to it. it seemed that way this game anyways. Also, I'll admit... I'll admit that the enchantments are pretty good in this matchup, and that was being my usual ridiculous self. When I said I was considering not bringing in the enchantments. Yay! We got two more format points, I'm up to 14. The grind is real.